Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> Hi my loves, so I'm on my way to Two Rivers right now, I'm going to see a friend for lunch and then after that I'm going to do a few activities and I'll see you there. So guys, I'm finally here at the rivers and everything looks so amazing, guys. So they have different activities. You can do the Ferris wheel, you can do the water park, and I'll be showing you everything on this video. So the Ferris wheel goes for 500 shillings, the water park goes for 500 shillings, and all the rest of the activities at the theme park go for, go for 500 shillings. So with 1500, you can do all activities. So guys, let's start with the Ferris wheel. As I said, it's just 500 shillings and you go for two rounds, which equals to 17 minutes. So yeah, I think it's, it, you get value for your money. Let's go to the next time. Is that scared, Dizzy? It's like a little shy. Guys, this is so amazing. Oh my god. And it's so relaxing, by the way, which is very weird because I didn't expect it to be this relaxing. So let me show you around. <laughs> Wow, that was fun, 100%. I got value for my money. So let's head on to the water park. And this is 500. And it has like boats. And you can just move around. And you can just have fun. I think this is a very good activity to try out with friends. So. Cyclops. The rest of the activities come as one package that goes for 500 shillings. Let me show you around.
finally my date is here and she looks so 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 good she looks like a queen for real you guys so we'll just head out for lunch we're going to spas tea crunch and there's like a franchise restaurant in nairobi and they're mostly known for pork ribs like for real this place has the best best pork ribs in nairobi and i'll show you the interior and the exterior and one thing i love about the interiors here is the arts it gives me chinese or asian vibes and then I love the furniture because it has this cool and mature vibe to it. And if you're going on a date, I would say this is a very good place to consider. I love the cast and everything was just I loved how they portrayed Africa this time so we'll just review each cast their strength their weaknesses and we're gonna start with Swanky I love love Swanky like I think Swanky was a fan favorite and he's just that one kind of guy who when you're friends with him like you're good like he's a good friend I loved how he handled Annie and how good of a friend he was to her and I loved how in spite of like being a friend Alikwa ready kum correct when she was wrong. Remember when when in this scene, Annie goes on to question Kanye's parenting skills, but Kanye but Swanky didn't buy it. He was like, man, no, you just don't do that. You just don't go to an event or to to dinner with someone and the host and then you're questioning some very sensitive issues about them and that is one thing i loved about him i love Pierre when he defended annie uh, from the zari situation i think that was good and then i want to bring peace in the group ah yeah swanky was my favorite for real then the next person is zari i really liked zari's attitude i loved her confidence her sass but I'll, I'll talk about um, the way she handled Annie's situation because I, I thought, no, that was so sneaky. <laughs> like, you just don't do that. Imagine having a friend, they realize you're insecure. And then instead of telling you in private, they just wait until in the moment your husband is there, is there and then one end up privately to tell them. It's like reporting how insecure you are. I man, that was not cool for real. And I'll, I'm gonna do like the video because uh, I'm gonna put receipts because most people are arguing at the oh, like they really did Zari wrong. But I also think Zari did Ali wrong. You just don't do that. Like it's it's more like women bringing each other down. 
so i'll attach the video hapo so let's just first watch the video of how zari talking to to face and then zari talking to swanky where she reported like she everything she said was false when she was talking to swanky and which makes sense uh, why Ani didn't accept the apology mbona mtu ana try to apologize na clearly hata hajaona penye amekukosea me by the way i won't accept the apology <laughs> to two-faced to tell him your woman is insecure when i asked innocent to come on the side i was just saying hi and because i know him before i okay and it was work related okay me moving innocent on the side has nothing to do with the relationship right it is more like i know innocent okay. i can still have the word with him okay clearly zaria kiongera swanky she was just lying and trying to get him on her side so as you have seen the video zari aki aki approached two face she was more like talking about the relationship and how Annie is insecure and then when she's talking to swanky she's more like i was just checking up on him and because i know i knew him before her oh, so what like you just don't do that anyways i understand why Annie didn't accept uh, zari's apology because but when you apologize you come you don't even see your mistakes you're just apologizing like to make they come up with smoother things and then we move forward then if you don't see the mistake let's just move let's just move forward your man is not even my type Sorry. okay it's your insecurity you know what i know him before hey, bye, bitch. have a nice day you are a very insecure bitch fuck you and your silly marriage you're a fucking billionaire i don't need to secure a man The reason I'm saying Zari was intimidated by Annie is because of the things she says to her and inafanyata nishangae because Zari kikaserika she tells um Annie I knew your husband before you and then at some point she says fuck you and you fucking marriage I don't need to secure a man you know that shows like you feel lacking in that sense in as much as i love zari i think she tried to bring another woman down the same way waliungana could bring her down one train anyways let's head on to the next person and the next person is annie and i loved annie i loved how she ex she she wasn't shy to show her emotions and clearly you can see that she's not okay in her marriage i don't know come on a circle ama maybe as she said the good times are more than the bad times but well <laughs> Woo, let me not talk about simping anyways lakini that was weird because about this guy has put you through hell and you clearly seem to be hurting and you still very happy and when Tufes comes to when Tufes visits she's so happy and it's day when I'm talking about happy ever to receive the husband which shows some I don't know if it's I'm not a psychologist but you come and trauma mama ni nini but I don't think it's normal at you see your husband and then you're jumping like a child ah okay I don't know <laughs> and they're now in love again so I mean we all know how she truly feels about her marriage and her husband not sure him. Yeah. I was shaking last night. I was I was crying like a child. The things that the innocent said. Yeah. And the things that I never I, knew he even noticed over the years. Wow. Things like I'm like this man 
is careless with everything. He's careless with me. He's too careless with me. If I didn't love you, you would lose me because you'd be too careless with me. <laughs> Things don't seem as she's displaying them. There's more to this relationship than just saying, you've been careless, can you change? So guys, the next person we're going to discuss is Kanye. And for me, Kanye was very hard to understand because at the beginning of the show, you see her being uh, interrupting conversations between uh, Annie and Andile, or is it Indile? And <clears throat> I was like, wow, this is kind of rude. And then she says, uh, Annie shares too much about her in the beginning, which was true. And now she has points against her. And I'm like, wow is it supposed to be I, I think why why do you have points against her anyways so after some time we see her teaming up with annie and being against zari who and in the beginning you clearly see she was zari's friend she just made her to like gain support gain like a team to gang up against zari because in the train i didn't understand why they treated zari that bad it wasn't it wasn't good it wasn't good i think she didn't deserve that though one thing i loved about diamond is like he knows he's a cheater and he's not changing and if you clearly see the relationship between him and zari you clearly see these people love each other but zari knows clearly that this guy will never give her what she wants so she chooses not to go back to that relationship and i respect zari for that because she stood up for herself and the good thing about diamond is at least he knows he won't change but one thing is their relationship because i'm not sure any man will be comfortable dating a woman and then kidogo kidogo umekuja kumsalimia and then the ex is in her bedroom which is kind of weird i don't know i don't know if guys don't mind that but i loved i loved i loved <clears throat> I love them together. They have so much chemistry. Now, for your point, at your next getting an ex gift, just because you're my baby daddy, it doesn't make sense. For me, I'm like, if you're a baby daddy, you're just a baby daddy. It's a story. Do not get stories our total. Nothing else. Nothing more. So for me, it was okay. Clearly, these people just love each other for real. At least they can tell you. Yeah. So I loved. I loved Na Nadia. Um, I loved her. I don't know. Yeah, I loved her. Andile, I, is it Indile or Andile? I don't remember his name. Oh, I think I loved him. I yeah, I loved him. It's for your point here, Kukatia Zari. But anyways, then naked. I think naked is the kind of man that he's like the kind of men that are influenced easily. Akikana mabeshte when you wanna kunyo ata kunyo. Akikana mabeshte when you wanna cheat and cheat. Like I felt like he behaved how like he was easily influ influenced okay na, na diamond like he could support the cheating and all those things and then pale kwa train in as much as he supported zari i remember working into an argument with swanky and this after this did, did not even involve them but he was in he got involved in some way i think he's in he's easily influenced but their relationship I don't know, maybe it will work out, maybe it won't. I don't know, no. Yeah, so I think that's all. Do, is there anyone else we need to talk about? I don't think, I don't think there's anyone else. Otherwise, I loved, love the show. Tell me what you think. If you think I'm wrong, <laughs> write, write it on the comments down below. If you agree with me, let's able tell me your points, you guys. I don't know, like for me, I just your point here, especially the point of women supporting each other. I think the women in this show, no one was I couldn't say in tapo like Zari clearly intimidated uh clearly put another woman down. Kanye the same, Annie the same. So for me, see the same at anyone anyone at Ali Ali intimidate you like most people are saying Zari like they put Zari down but yes I agree that Zari also put someone else down so I think we draw draw so it's just a lesson like we women need to support each other over killer time could bring each other down otherwise I think uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And if you have any comments, if you have any ideas on the videos I can do in my next vlog, just put them down below. 
at least it was nice catching up you guys and don't forget to tell me your ideas if you've watched the series yeah comment your comment your ideas about chini and if i'm wrong <laughs> those are just my views by the way musi musi kuja kuni attack otherwise i'll see you on the next vlog i love you guys Mwah.